Hi guys and welcome to our new video. I'm here with Alexander. Hello. And we are continuing to cover the, the, the documentation with our 3.0 plus version of plugin so you can get to know a little bit more about our plugin and how it works. So for today the topic will be the front-end overview of WP Data Tables. So without further ado, we can start right away. Thanks. Um, okay, you guys can check this out on our Sandbox uh, website. So uh, just go there and you know slash WP admin and you will see uh, the login info where you can log in and take a look at the sandbox. So this is one of the uh, tables that is editable and responsive. So um, this is the title of the table which can be hidden or displayed. Uh, these are table tools. So column visibility, you can hide some columns on the front end and when you refresh the page it'll revert to default settings so all columns that you've uh, enabled will be displayed right here um, print you can actually print the table export in excel csv copy to clipboard and export to pdf um, the global search is actually the search that's related only to the table on this page so you can type a value from the table and see it right here. <clears throat> Same goes for filters. So if you enter a filter right here, the table mm -hmm. will show only that entry. Um, this is how many rows per page of the table will be shown. So we have 10 pages in total, so 100 entries. You can change that to be 100 and show all entries on one page or you can switch it to 25, you can switch it to 10. Also, you can choose the starting number in the table settings, right? That's right, yeah. Um, you can edit the table, so if you want to edit this entry, so for example, it's not Mike, it's Steve, and click Submit, the data is changed. Uh, you can add a new entry right here, so for example, well, it's not 2021, but never mind. And this is it. You click on submit and the new data is added to the table. Okay, the editing tools will be only visible if the table is editable, right? That's correct. If the table is not editable, these buttons won't be shown here. Um, also, the front end overview has showing uh, how many entries are currently displayed and how many entries there are in the table. So showing one, two, 25 out of 101 mm -hmm. entries and the pagination right here, which you can use to navigate through the table. Um, one more thing about editing, you can go to table settings under editing, enable uh, mm -hmm. editing in a popover. So when you save that and refresh the page on the front end, when you click on a row, you will see the buttons. So they disappeared from mm -hmm. here, but when you click on a row, they'll be displayed right here. And you can also enable inline editing, which means that you can double click on, on a cell and edit the entry right there. So double click and simply hit enter. No, click away and that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any other view except for that that one standard one yeah uh, there's an excel like view you can switch to it in the back end to see how it looks and of course we can create a new page where you can actually use that view so if we create a new page and use this is table number one you can actually add the short code for uh, for the table wait for it to load it's still loading sorry about that mm -hmm. so once it loads you can actually choose uh, the editor and insert a WP data table this is table one and choose Excel like table right here so when you click on publish you we can see this table on the front end showing the uh, Excel-like table on the front. Okay. And the search <clears throat> also works here. And as you can see, it's highlighted 
Okay, so there are some differences between standard view and Excel-like view. That's right. We yes. will post the differences below this video so you can know what to accept. Excel-like view that doesn't have pagination and, uh, for example, showing 10 entries out of 100. Yeah, that's right. Also, a good thing about um, Excel-like view is that you can copy a range of cells and simply paste them and they will be automatically added. Mm -hmm. So if you want to copy some stuff from an Excel file, you can just drag and select a range of cells and paste them in WP data tables and they will be added, added right away. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's that pretty, pretty, pretty much, much covers the front end overview. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So for today's video, yeah. the promo code should be front end overview, front end overview. It will be 20% discount for all of our add-ons and licenses. We'll bring it back to below this video so you can see it and check it out. Thank you again for watching and see you in another video. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye. Take care.